We use coins. Dot com. But it's starting. As long as Shield Mutual is not really New Hampshire focused, as long as they're going to take that sort of scattergun approach that most organizations take of being national or maybe international, uh, maybe there's some, maybe there are some advantages they can get from the fact that they're all over. Maybe they could turn what I think of as a disadvantage there into an advantage. I'm not sure exactly how many of us there are this time. Sometimes the further away an event is from the victim, the more impact it has. Uh, for instance, you know, it, it can be a magnifier is what I'm trying to say. Uh, for instance, if Shield Mutual had some sort of presence in Costa Rica or Switzerland or someplace like that, they could, in fact, this might even work for Adam Kokesh's situation, they could organize small, and that's probably the only kind they could organize, small demonstrations outside U.S. embassies overseas. Since such things have hardly happened before in the Liberty context, the first one to happen would probably be fairly newsworthy. So this is an instance where distance could be a magnifier. And even if you, you know, you, you could do something like this in California, I guess at a federal building, there's also the option of, and I guess I'm a little biased toward this, solo silent demonstrations. Back in the days before YouTube was so dominant, before I was shooting much Liberty video, I thought pretty much the most effective thing I was doing for my activism was just like going to bureaucrat office after bureaucrat office after bureaucrat office and just standing in their office with a sign and then refusing to say anything and until they made me leave. And then I would just post a text report about what had happened. I think I probably did this about 20 times. I got arrested for one of them, even though I left when ordered. You'd probably have to pay somebody something just to compensate them for that risk. And, you know, again, if it were me, I wouldn't be doing it all over the country or all over the world. But I'm more geographical and New Hampshire-centric than Shield Mutual is. I used to always have, like, a, a leaflet or something to hand the bureaucrat in question so that it would really explain in detail why I was there. <laughs> but also, the, you know, the being quiet was always a source of additional conversation. It made people talk about the protest more. And, and most of the time, I mean, 19 of those times out of the 20, uh, uh, you know, the bureaucrats actually reacted pretty well. You know, they, they didn't seem to be hostile toward me. I seemed to be getting through to them. So it's just another option on the table uh, for, for Shield Mutual or any organization that's trying to... I mean, I wish that Free Staters would do it in New Hampshire. It would be wonderful to have one or two people that were running around doing, you know, this or other things that I used to do before video sucked all the air out of the room. And there are dozens of other ideas that I've come up with for, you know, good types of activism that would help New Hampshire specifically. Uh, they would probably also help Shield Mutual, you know, with slight modification. Uh, if, you, if you look at the video description, I've actually posted a link there to all those options. Hopefully you or the Shields will find some of these options to be useful. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at WeUseCoins.com.